Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will understand how to install Mobile Extrem on Windows. Basically, Mobile Extrem is one of the best SSH clients available for Windows, using which you can SSH into remote virtual machines like AWS EC2 instances, etc. So in this video, we will see how to use Mobile Extrem to SSH into the AWS EC2 instances, how to store those sessions, um, etc. So first, let's start with downloading and installing mobile xterm so this is the official website of mobile xterm so which is mobile xterm.mobartech.net so i'm in the home so if you scroll to the bottom you will see the various protocols supported by mobile xterm so it supports ssh telnet rdp sftp etc it can also act like x11 uh, uh, server as well so what we'll do is uh, we'll first try to download it home edition and we need to uh, install the installer edition so once you click on this installer edition a uh, zip file will be downloaded like this so let's extract it first so once you extract you will find the binary let's double click on this binary to install it so accept the licensing agreement select the path uh, i mean i am using the default and then install it so once it is installed uh, let's try to search for the application and then open it so this is the uh you know home page of mobile xterm so you can select the theme directly from here so let's go with the white uh, or the light theme for now and uh, if you want to see various protocols supported you can click on the session here and then you can use any of these sessions like i can use ssh to ssh into the remote uh, ec2 instances I can also connect to AWS S3, Windows Subsystem for Linux. I can open a shell, uh, file transfer protocol, RDP. So I can do a lot of things using mobile XTEM. So if you want to SSH, uh, all you need to do is click on session and click on SSH. So where it will ask for the remote host and the remote, uh, you know, systems username, the, uh, the SSH port, etc. But, uh, you know, these sessions, you know uh, once they are created so you will see them here but uh, you know what we will do first is we'll try to organize all those sessions by creating various um, you know folders but before that let's understand various settings so let's click on the settings and click on configuration so this is the um, you know home directory that mobile xterm uses so you can set your own uh, home directory and the default text editor it opens is um, you know the mobile xterm editor itself then uh, you know i can go to the terminal and then i can uh, so let's say you copied some text and you wanted to paste it in the terminal uh, by right clicking the mouse so uh, in order to enable that feature you can just check this box which is paste using uh, right click and then um, you know i can uh, change the default background color or the cursor settings okay from here so let's uh, you know change the theme black uh, back to black and this is for x11 and this is for ssh so for ssh so you can also use default login credentials okay and one more thing that we need to remember is that if you open any ssh session to aws ec2 instances and if you don't um, use that session so the session, session will time out so in order to uh, keep the sessions alive, you need to check this box, which is SSH keep alive. And that's it from here. Uh, go to the uh, display settings. If you want to change the default theme, uh, set the saturation transparency of mobile XTERM, etc. Uh, so you can um, do all these UI changes. So let's click on um, OK to you know basically apply these settings so in order to apply these settings i think uh, we need to close um you know mobile xterm and reopen it okay that's fine so first what we will do is uh, we will try to create an ec2 instance so i'm in my uh, aws ec2 dashboard so if you already have running instances you can directly uh, use mobile xterm to connect to those instances using ssh so what i'll do is i'll click on launch instance so i'll quickly uh, uh, launch an instance with the name test i'm going to use amazon linux 2023 mi architecture 64 bit instance ipc to micro and the key pair uh, even though i have one i'll just show how to create one 
so click on create a new pair so we are going to create an rsa type key uh, which is known as test i'm going to download the pem file which is the private key basically click on create pair and then just download it and then if you see the default security group has ssh allowed that's it so let's click on launch instance so this will take some time okay uh, so meanwhile what we will do is uh, we'll go to mobile xtem so i can ssh into that instance using ssh from here but i wanted to you know organize all those sessions in in various folders so for this uh, let's right click on the blank space here from here also you can start the session right so first uh, let's click on new folder and the folder name i wanted to use as aws inside this i'll store all the aws related sessions so if you have another uh, let's say you wanted to uh, uh, you know access azure instances so i can uh, create uh, azure folder it's uh, all depends upon the use case right uh, so let's right click on the aws folder and then now so you can create a subfolder or you can edit the folder rename it etc so right click on the aws folder click on new session so i'm going to start the ssh session so the remote host will be the IP address of your EC2 instance. I think it is already running. Uh, just select this instance and then just take the public IP before address. And then let's uh, paste the address here and uh, specify username. So I know the username is EC2 iPhone user. Now, uh, you know, we need to use as, um, SSH based authentication. So for this, I need to supply the private key file. So what I can do is I can go to this advanced SSH uh, settings and then use private key and then just select the private key that you just downloaded that is test.pm and uh, once you click on this so um, for the first time it will ask uh, to accept so now if you see we are able to ssh into the instance uh, and um, what you are seeing is the file browser so directly the file uh, the contents of your home folder will be displayed so you can also verify this by doing ls hyphen al here so whatever folders you are seeing here you, um, you know they are uh, uh, visible here as well and now i can go to the sessions here now you can see under the aws we have one session so if you double click on the same session so a new tab will be opened and um, your you can manage the ssh session from this window so if you want to go to the previous session all you have to do is click on the previous tab so i can directly close the uh connections from here and also if you see uh, in the sessions so here it is just displaying the ip address that we have used so let's say i don't want to uh, see the ip address here right i can uh, edit the session by right clicking on the session and uh, in the bookmark settings what i can do is um, you know i can give some name like a uh, test instance so this is easier for me to identify what uh, instance i'm trying to connect to and then click on ok so now if you see this is test instance if you hover your mouse you can see the type of connection the ip address the user and the port number if you just uh, double click on it the ssh will be established and then if you want to uh, let's say the instance has been stopped and um, after restarting the ip address is changed so in order to change the ip address for this session uh, right click on the session edit and then change the ip address click on ok and then double click on it so it will try to ssh into your remote instances not only that if you want to have one more uh, session of type rdp for the windows instances again you can fill the host name uh, the remote host username and all those rdp related settings and that session will appear here so this is how you can store sessions uh, in mobile xtem and ssh into various instances so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you